Hi, welcome to this video tutorial in which we'll show you how to deploy virtual machines in Fireware Lab while using the new capabilities of private networks. First, we need to create a, a key pair. So we go to the security uh, section and then key pairs tab. We create a new one and write a name for it. And then we have it created. What we do now is we download the, the private half of the certificate and into our computer so that we so we can access the machine later on. Okay, now we're gonna do create a security group. This will allow our machine to be accessible from the outside world. So we, we put a name and a description and now we're going to specify a couple ports that we're going to be opening for our machine. Click on edit rules and then add port 22 for SSH and port 80 for HTTP. Next up we're going to be creating the actual network and for that we go to the network section and create network. We put a name in the box and now we create a subnet. We add one and with a, with a particular name and address space, the network address. And then the DNS server. This is just an example of a DNS server we can use. And we have a subnet and a network created. The next step is we're going to create a router for the, for the network. Click on create and give it a name. And then we're going to add an interface to it. Once it appears on the screen, we click on it. Go to interfaces and add interface. We select the subnet we just created and we add it. And now we're gonna specify, go back to routers and we specify which ex external network the router will be connected to. So in this case, we go to actions, set gateway, and then the, the, the platform will give us the option to go to the public internet and we set it like this okay so right now we need to make sure that we have a, a public IP and we go to security and in this case I have already an IP but if you don't have it you can go to allocate IP and you can get one in my case I already have my my IP so I can I cannot get a new one so now we, we go to create the actual machine and we go to instances and launch new instance and we pick uh, an image from which to launch we give it a name and we we pick our the, our preferred flavor for the machine click on next and select a key pair the one we just created and the security group next and then we drag the network that we created before and drag it up to selected networks and that makes our machine accessible to the private network the next next again and launch instance and then we have our instance in a few seconds running uh, with connectivity to this private network uh, one thing that's missing though is that we need to give it access to the internet and the way we do that is we associate the public IP that we have to the machine. We, we only have, right now we only have a, 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 a private IP which is inside the, the, the network that we were creating before. So we go to the security and then click right click there in actions and associate IP and then associate to the instance.
and now we have a machine that's accessible from the internet. I'm going to try and do just that. We're going to try to SSH into the machine using this using this IP. And we are going to set first of all we're going to set file permissions appropriately so that the file can be used for for SSH. And then we issue the, the actual command SSH specifying the certificate like this and user root at the public IP. This should let us in like this we, and we can now go ahead and check connectivity. We see that it works and we can also check how the we were giving the, the private IP from the pool of IP addresses that we specify within Fiber Lab for our private network. So this is it. Uh, thank you very much, and see you next time.